Okay, welcome back. Okay, what I said last time, we're going to put the Photoshop file in here. Now, there's certain considerations. The Photoshop file is a layered file, and it will put all of the frames in there. Um, the problem is that we want it to continually spin around. So, that's going to cause a problem. Because if we put all the layers on here, and they're going to be frame after frame, then when the animation runs, it's going to get to the end and you might not want it to go back to where it starts spinning so it just basically spin until the frames run out and then stop but how do we make it spin continually well it's very easy if you remember last time movie clips if we create it in its own movie clip whatever happens on the main scene is not going to affect the movie clip so that's what we need to do so the first thing we need to do is create a movie clip. Now it doesn't really matter what you do here, how you create it. I'm creating a square. I'm going to call it movie clip because I intend to delete this. Convert to symbol and we'll call it spin. It's going to be a movie clip. Okay. Now I'm going to go into it. Now that breaks us free of the original scene, but does mean that we can put things in here. Now I'm going to go to layer two. I'll label these all in a minute. Select that frame. I'm not going to go to File, Import, Import to Stage. I'm going to use the shortcut, Control R. So I'm going to press Control R, and you'll get this come up. I'm going to find my Photoshop source file, which is this one, and I'm going to open it. And it's going to give me some options here. What do I want to do? Convert layers to keyframes or convert them to flash layers? I'm going to do them as keyframes. The bottom layer, which was that green colour, um, I don't want to check that. In fact, it has unchecked it. It usually does uncheck the background when there's multiple layers. If you wanted to import it, you just check it. But that's all fine. Set to import option, select one or more layers on the left. They've all been selected. So I press OK. And here we go. In it's come. Beautiful. So I'm going to get rid of these layers now. Because I don't need them. And you'll see the box. So the box is going to be in there. And it's going to be doing that. It's actually a bit quick. Because it's a bit quick. I'm going to just slow it down a bit by putting three frames for every one. We'll just judder it down. We will use these techniques to create more interactive features like you mouse to the right and it spins it to the right, you mouse to the left, it spins it to the left. But for now, I'm just going to increase these frames and have it rotating. Remember, we're building on each thing we learn. So every time we repeat something, we're expanding on what we learned before. So we created a movie clip before. Now we've created a movie clip that is using um, images. I have a really good reason why I've put it into a movie clip is that you'll see that the the actual object isn't really where I want it. I want it up here, or I want it over here in the middle, centered. But if I did it on the scene, I'd have to move each of these frames up to get them right. Because if you see, I'll take that one, move it up, and there you go, it's dropped out of position. So, creating a movie clip means that, that everything's in exactly the same position. And it'll also... See, that's moved out now. I mean, if you want to move it back... use the XY coordinates but um, this then allows me to go back into the scene I see it there and I can do this and it's a movie clip so the whole thing will turn so that's good we've created that in there that's our spin look at a library over here it's created the assets for all this stuff all these have been converted into bitmaps now and put into a folder called box H90 so that's all the images in there. The background image is background image there. And this is the spin movie clip, which we, uh, which is based on the box H90 parts. So 
So that's great. Let's just export this out and then you can see that it's going to continually spin. Electronics. Just export. Just close this down. Start this up. There we go. So there's our little object spinning in space continually, never stop. So okay, we'll start adding some text now to the right hand side of this in the next lesson. A bit of um, some special effects on the text as well, just to get you used to that.